In this exercise, we're asked to show four and one third on a number line, okay? So first thing as I go along, I'm going to choose a point and label that point my origin. So here I will have a zero. Oh, let us let me use another color. So here I would have a zero, zero over three. And I'm using three because three is in my denominator okay just remember that so to my left I would have a negative 1 over 3 to the right of of my origin 0 I would have positive 1 third then 2 thirds then I would have 3 over 3 then I would have a 4 over 3 5 over 3 3 then I would have a 6 over 3 then I would have a 7 over 3 I would have a 8 over 3 9 over 3 then I would have a 10 over 3 I would have a 11 over 3 I would have 12 over 3 here I would have 13 over 3 and here I would have a 14 over 3. And my last point here, I would have a 15 over 3. So if you notice, since my denominator is 3, then my denominator on my number line is constant. It will remain 3, okay? And as I go to my right, I'm increasing by 1 unit. And as I move to my left, I'm decreasing by 1 unit, okay? So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, that's beautiful. That's good. Now, guys, uh, sometimes my students ten tends to get a bit uh, confused by the whole number here. But all you have to do really is to simplify, simplify these fractions here, and you will see the four and one third a bit better. So let's just get into it quickly. Really, what is happening here? 0 over 3, and you can try it on your calculator, 0 div calculators rather, 0 divided by any number is 0. So 0 over 3 is really 0, okay? Then I have 1 third, and I know that 2 thirds is the same as 2 thirds, but 3 over 3 is really 1, because 3 into itself 1, and 3 into itself also it goes 1 time, okay? So this is 1, this is a whole number 1, so I'm going up now and I'm going to say 4 over 3. 3 into 4 goes 1 time. Remainder 1 over 3. And 5 over 3 is the same as 1. Remainder 2 over 3. Because you're saying 3 into 5. How many sets of 3s? I can get 1 set of 3s. Remainder I will have 2 leave out of 3. We know that 6 over 3 is the same as, as 2. 2 holes. Okay? So six into its three into itself goes once. Three into six goes two times. Okay, we know that uh, seven over three is the same as two remainder one third. Okay, we know that eight over three is the same as two and two thirds. Okay, and we know that nine over three is the same as three. Because 3 into itself goes 1, and 3 into 9 goes 3 times, okay? So we have 3 holes. So 3 over 3 is the same as 1 hole, 6 over 3 is the same as 2 holes, and 9 over 3 is the same as 3 holes. So we can continue, and we can say then now that 3 into 10 goes 3 times, remainder 1 third, okay? Then we can say that 3 into 11 goes three times remainder two thirds okay and also three into twelve goes four times okay because because three into itself goes once and three into twelve goes four times so we have a whole number here now if you should look carefully you would see that the whole number that we're trying to find is four and one third now we would we would have reached four holes here, which relates to this four here. So it simply means that I need another third. So I am saying basically here that three into itself goes once, but three into 13 goes four times, four times. And I would have a remainder of one over three. 
because three to three fours would give me twelve but I would have to add another one to get to thirteen so this is this point here thirteen over three is the same as four and one third okay so really this is the point that I'm looking for because right here I would have four and two over three and my last point on my number line would be 3 into 5, 3 into itself once, and 3 into 15 goes 5 times. So this is 5 volts. But really what I'm looking for is this point here on the number line. And let me just highlight it a bit. This point here, 4 and 1 third. And I know that 4 and 1 third is the same as 13 over 3. So hence, we can now draw our number line. Okay, guys? So let's and when we're drawing our number line when we're drawing our line we should always start from the when we're representing the fraction rather we should always start from our origin and our origin is zero so now I'm increasing and we have stated that we're going to come straight up straight up straight up straight up and we're going to stop at 13 over 3 okay so in representing our fraction then we can state then that this distance from 0 over 3 to 13 over 3 is the same as 4 and a third. And it's that easy. Okay, guys? Good, good.